up guys, TwayB here and I'll be talking about mentoring system. It is a fairly easy system and it has been implemented since last patch so I'm gonna just bring it through it. Uh, mentoring system is basically for the higher levels to level up the lower levels and get a little bit of reward in return. To be honest the reward for, uh, for the one that is mentoring is not that good so let me just give you a quick rundown. If you uh, press control and then click on one of the characters, if you're below level 25 this thing mentor pops up. You can click on it and you will be uh, matched with one of the persons that will actually mentor you. But as I just said you need to be level 40 or higher for that and there needs to be a level 20 uh, difference between you and the character that's mentoring you. So uh, the benefits from this is you can just uh, skip every normal, every hard, every expert and go straight through uh, to the last uh, difficulty of every level without ever doing it. Uh, aside from that you can also put intrusion on which is another 20% extra experience. So basically what you do with mentoring is, and I need to show you on another character, is just only do the mm, like the biggest difficulty there is and just farm it. You don't do any quests, you might lose like a little bit of SP but in the long run you can just get those SP quests back when you feel like doing them. So leveling comes first and the rest comes afterwards. So what I did to get this character level 25 in about 2 hours was simply um, 2 hard modes from the first dungeon, 3 hard modes from the expert dungeon to get above level 8 I think, then uh, 7 dungeons master of the imp forest to get level 14, then um, 14 delpos front beats and gotta say I'm not really sure which uh, route is the fastest but to be honest this one was the fastest to me and afterward to get level 25 I needed 15 runs of the Temple of the Dead to get level 25 and it only took me about two hours maybe two and a half hours it is really easy to do so that covers up like mentoring system and another addition to this patch is an event like thingy exchange honor symbols. So the honor symbols are for every character that you have above level 55 you will receive 10 wow you will receive 10 uh, honor symbols and you can exchange these for items that uh, have a duration so they're not really that good in my opinion but they can be used for leveling and such and for extra well resurrection scrolls but I wouldn't use them anyway if I died and fuck it um, little note from what I've heard uh, the shadow gear set lasts three days so this is uh, an item with a duration if you combine this one with a soul stone that is permanent that soul stone will become durated as well it will get like an expiration date so please take note and do not do this so that basically covers up everything of this patch hope you guys liked it hope it was informational and uh, see you guys around